Hi, first let me apologise if this video seems a little bit strange but I've just had to add a few bits. Now this particular felting machine that I have, it, it comes with a standard uh, attachment with five uh, needles. And if you, break, if you happen to break one or even two or three in my case, then there's not an awful lot you can do. You have to replace the whole, the whole thing. Um, so I tried to carry on using it with the needles still attached but it was just making a blunt mess so in the end I just took it out and cut off um, the uh, broken needles. So that made me think right okay do some research on how to replace uh, this attachment with an attachment where you can actually um, change it for a uh, attachment that you can actually change your needles which I've found and so I'm waiting for that to come. So but in the meantime on the internet I found f found out that you can actually use felting needles so hence the next bit of the video but it was supposed to be added to my last video so please bear with me on that. Okay then bye for now. Hi. Well what I've found in my um, toolkit here is this uh, single needle. Now with this one I can actually change it for some reason so I don't know why I can't change the others. I've just had a go of cutting these felting needles down and you have to be really careful. So I'll just show you, I'll just show you how I did it. Okay so here's your hand felting needle. Um, now some of these went in easy but some of them didn't. Uh, well, one of them didn't. It was a little bit thicker, so you might have to be careful uh, which uh, hand felting needle that you actually get. I know this is sort of like uh, going off the rail here from showing you how to do a baby blanket, but these are 20 times 40 gauge fork extra strong rooting needles. So these aren't hand felting needles, but I'm sure you could use them. And the, the two a penny these are, really cheap. Right, so what I did was, I don't want to lose this needle because this is the original one that came with it. So I'll take this out and I'll put that safe. Right, so this hole is not very big. Now I know some of the simplicity ones have got like a 12 needle holder. So it just may be bigger. Right, so what I would do, get your original needle and just put it up against there and mark the length of it. Just like that. So you know where to cut. So you can see it. Yep, yeah, you can see it. So I'm going to keep that safe. Put the top back off. Right, so now extreme caution with this because these needles go flying off. So just be very careful. A nice big strong pair of cutters. And if you've got a handy man around the place, I'd get him to do it because I'm not that strong. Right, so cut. Right, so now that should fit into the place where that one went. These are so sharp when you <laughs> they really do hurt if you uh, get pricked. Okay, let's tighten it up. So that is just a standard felting needle. And like I say, just check. Um, yours might be okay, your machine might be better than this one because it's only one attachment they're giving me that I can change. Uh, so anyway I hope that's helped and I'm going to carry on with my baby blanket now. Okay. Well what I've done with this one is I've just put in that single needle there. You have to change the base plate on this particular uh, model of felting machine. Um, but this is the only, like I said earlier, this is the only attachment I've got that I can change the needle. Now this is the original Sorry, this is the felting needle that you saw me cut down. So I'm just going to show you how it actually works. It doesn't feel as barbed as the uh, 
machine needle but it works just as well so just bear with me and I'll set this up can you see that so this is a this is a cut down felted needle I think you can see that I mean, can't you? yeah right so we'll stick that to that and I was going to try and attach this to my other video but it went on a bit too much so just to show you that it does work I mean bearing in mind this is a single needle you might just be able to replace one but at the moment like I said I'm waiting for my attachment so I can just replace individual needles now these fel felting needles are so hand felting needles are so much cheaper than machine needles so much quieter than one but this is for more this single needle for me is just for like uh, detailed work but So they do work. Can you see? So it does work. Felt it quite nice. So I hope that little tip can save you some money. Uh, so thanks for joining me then. Okay, bye for now.